Hello everyone, and welcome to the new AgriDry Series Grain Quality Control Topic of the Week. My name is Clint Walker, and today's topic is static pressure. What it is, how it applies to grain drying and storage, and what AgriDry offers for reading this information. Static pressure is a resistance of flow, which is measured in inches of water. It's created from the amount of grain depth that the air is trying to pass through. Knowing what the static pressure is becomes very critical when determining the amount of CFMs per bushel that you have. CFM stands for cubic feet of air per minute and is calculated by the amount of airflow through a mass of grain. The type and horsepower of the fan is designed to produce CFM totals at different static pressures. If you notice on the two charts that we have, uh, there is one for axial vein fans and then one for centrifugal fans. If you notice on the left side, you choose what size of fan that you have, the horsepower, and then at the top of, the, of each of those charts, is a static pressure. So knowing what that static pressure is, the size of the, the fan that you have horsepower wise, you can follow that across and determine what the total CFMs you have uh, at that current depth of grain. Once you know your total CFM from the fan chart, divide that number by the total number of bushels. So for example, if you had 20,000 CFMs and you had 30,000 bushels in the bin, you would divide that out and it would come to about 0.66 CFM per bushel, which is about two thirds of a CFM per bushel. For natural air drying or, or changing the moisture grain, it is recommended to have at least one CFM per bushel. And for aeration or changing the temperature grain, it is ideal to have at least a minimum of one tenth of, of CFM per bushel. Just like anything, too much pressure can be a bad thing, meaning too much grain depth or too much airflow for fan sizing. Therefore, it is crucial to properly size your bin fans for what you want to do and keep the re recommended grain depth for that sizing. The grain type can also affect the static pressure since some grains allow airflow to pass through easier than others. Having a static pressure gauge also gives some security by showing if issues arise in the bin such as grain crusting or roof fence plugging. The static pressure should not increase once the grain depth is consistent. Because of these variables it is it's a necessity to know what that pressure is during grain drying or aeration. And that is why AgriDry offers several ways to view or record this information. The first style AgriDry offers is the analog static pressure gauge. This unit is a mechanical device that is placed in the plenum area below the floor of the grain bin. It has a range from 0 to 10 inches of water. It is usually installed below our bullseye controller by drilling and tapping a hole to thread into the bin corrugation. We install on an upward angle, like shown in the picture, so that it's easy to view. When a grain bin does not have a full aeration floor and just has tunnels, we have the ability to mount a commercial static pressure gauge on the side of the fan transition. We attach a 90 degree copper tube on the end of that analog static pressure gauge and direct it towards the bin. This allows the gauge to read properly by collecting the pressure being forced back out of the grain. We now offer digital static pressure that reads into the bullseye controller. That range is 0 to 14 inches of water and is designed to mount directly below the controller with bins that have a full false aeration floor. It consists of five foot of copper tubing, fittings with a mounting bracket, and the sensor board with a plastic line. The information from the digital static pressure is also displayed on the AD link in which you can graph history and set up threshold alerts via email or text if it hits extreme data. Older controllers can be upgraded to this, this equipment. Contact your local sales rep for more details. If you notice on the two screens, uh, on the left, there is the static pressure displayed in the fan status to let you know what that pressure is and to make sure that the fans are running at that time. The graph showing the status of the static pressure gauge operating and when the fans are operating at that point shows that it goes to zero when the fans are off and then whatever that static pressure is when the fans are running. That is all for this week. Thank you for joining AgriDrive's Grain Quality Control Topic of the Week. Please feel free to contact AgriDry for more information. Please join us for next week's topic, Freezing Grain. And remember, here at AgriDry, grain quality is not an option.